eyes was blinking and he was shaking. I was afraid that he can die. New onset. Noemi Alonzo's husband of 39 years, Candido, was having a stroke. Uh, I get nervous. ¿Qué te pasa? No. Because we are um, telling what happened and everything. And he, he gets emotional, you know. Hey, guys. What you got? EMS knew exactly where Candido needed to go. Palmetto General Hospital's Joint Commission Accredited Comprehensive Stroke Center, one of 110 comprehensive centers in the nation, one of only four in the state of Florida, and one of only two in South Florida. So we would bypass a hospital that doesn't have the standard of care, or the level of care, to come here because this is the ultimate uh, level of care when it comes to stroke. Hialeah Fire Chief Mike Anchia says once it's determined a person had or is having a stroke, the crew member immediately calls Palmetto General Hospital announcing a code neuro. A code neuro was called in for Candido and for 38-year-old Euselia Maya, her husband Nelson by her side. I put my knee on the floor, thought with God and that's it asking that his wife and mother of their 12-year-old daughter, Andrea, live. My daughter need to grow up with her mom, and me too. Jack and Nero, may I help you? When that code neuro call comes in, medical director of the center, Dr. Ritesh Kashal's finely tuned team immediately assembles. That's where the cloud is. Regional director, Dr. Nils mueller Kronost says it's a center Kashal's built with heart and more. He was there every patient, every time. For 19 months, he single-handedly staffed the stroke call and literally saw every patient, initiated every treatment. And with that leadership, you're going to get everybody to follow you. Everyone should, should see your passion and see your vision. Advanced nurse practitioner Jackie Gonzalez says the vision is clear. It's very, very fast, extremely, extremely fast. Fast is everything. As neurologists say, time is brain. When a stroke strikes, 1.9 million brain cells are lost per minute. That means every minute your brain ages three weeks. 85% of people who have strokes have clots, and 15% have bleeds, meaning the clot bursts. Lift up your arms again for me one more time, please. With the Comprehensive Stroke Center's approach to code neuro, the patient immediately gets a CT scan, which determines if the clot-busting drug TPA is needed. Not all patients are candidates for TPA or intervention. If they are a candidate for surgery, Dr. Kashal needs to remove the clot. If there is bleeding in the brain, a neurosurgeon like Dr. Valerio is brought in. The brain is starting to accommodate. At Palmetto General Hospital's Comprehensive Stroke Center, the door to needle time, that's the time from when the patient enters the hospital until the TPA drug is administered, has improved dramatically as the team has fine-tuned the center over the years. In 2012, the average time was 76 minutes, compared to today's average of 29 minutes, cutting their own time in half. And compare that 29 minutes to the national average of 55 minutes, Palmetto General Hospital, nearly twice as fast. From door to groin, the time that a patient enters the hospital until the time Dr. Kushal enters the catheter into the groin for surgery, is 40 minutes on average at Palmetto General Hospital and 90 minutes on average nationally, 50 minutes faster at Palmetto General Hospital. But the most important numbers, fixing the problem. From the onset of the stroke until the clot is removed at Palmetto General Hospital, an average of 188 minutes. The national average, 268 minutes. Palmetto General Hospital, 80 minutes faster. We actually have gone out as a network and put our numbers out on a billboard in the intent to pressure the rest of the community to be more transparent about the number. With the success of the program in the past three years, the number of patients has gone up 133 percent. We know the exact time of onset is 45 minutes ago. ER doctor Aisha Hussein says the word is out in the medical community. Now the hospital is educating the public. As a physician, it's always best to be at a facility that you can offer the ultimate. Being here as a stroke victim is the place you want to be. The center also has the ability to treat tumors and hemorrhages with a minimal incision using brain path technology. And now with the recent accreditation from the Joint Commission, the newest addition, 
an ICU created specifically for stroke patients and others with neurological issues under the care of specially trained personnel, striving to continue to stay on top, improving and saving lives. The whole idea was do your best. It needed a team approach. And uh, as soon as everyone in the team came together, then you see this magic happen. That magic happened for patients like Yuseli, who is relearning English after the stroke and whose husband is forever grateful. God is good, you know what I mean? And Candido and his wife? After God, casual. <laughs> he says, I'm here and I'm alive, thanks to a remarkable team.